people are very curious about card 2018 timeline setting well today i am going to take my time to explain the possibility timeline you know triacle approach this year for the upcoming card game hey what's going on guys my name is Lil's Forever. welcome back to the channel now before we get into this any further i don't want to take a moment to thank all of my subscribers and viewers you guys are awesome this year i promise to make a huge difference with the channel now we have that out of the way Let's proceed back to our previous topic. Now, I do believe this year card 2018 will once again be a boot on the ground cards game, despite the fact that you know Call of Duty World War II earned one billion dollars in global sales. This proof alone to say card 2018 will definitely be a boot on the ground card game, and this will also confirm by Activision as well. Now, how is this elaborate with card 2018 timeline setting? Well, recently. Trey Hawk, you know, help on Twitter addressing the next Call of Duty games for the first time. This wasn't like, you know, a major tweet, you know, that was caught by many people's attention. It was more like a low key type of tweet, you know, between a user and Trey Hawk. So apparently, the user asked Trey Hawk, you know, what they want on the next Call of Duty game, and Trey Hawk proceeded and replied back to the user. And based on Trey Hawk's reply, it kind of summed it up. And give us some very insightful detail about you know the upcoming game timeline i'm not that surprised to be honest but it is very interesting nonetheless to talk about now let me the tweet for you guys i'll also have it on screen for you guys as well the individual asked trey Hawk, we need a vietnam or afghanistan based game then track reply back to him black ops 1 and black ops 2 done next request pretty much what this is saying is they already give us you know a game based on those two timeline so they are not going back to that again so this really confirmed that you know we are not going to get any game based on those two timelines now that left us with one option and before i get into that first let me explain something to you all real quick we are not going to get a world war 2 one and world war 2 game from treyarch beside there's no way in hell man we'll get you know a back-to-back -back world war 2 game this pretty much, you know, out of the option. Then we had three futuristic card game, which was a major flop on my aspect. Well, except for Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 was just okay. And the other two, mm, they didn't quite, you know, meet our expectation like that, but they were just alright. So this pretty much, you know, out of the option. So to sum this up, Activision, you know, also confirmed that we will not see any futuristic card games anytime soon. So, the only option we have left is a Modern Warfare shooting game. And if you look at it this way, Treyarch has never done a Modern Warfare shooting game. So, this would be a great opportunity timeline, you know, for the next card game. A Modern Warfare Call of Duty game from them. I mean, it's been some quite a while now, you know, since we have a Modern Warfare shooting game. So, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if we get something like that from them. So, if they don't tend to go back on the past and out of the future, then we are definitely going to see that from them. I mean, there really isn't any other way to put it, to be honest. So there you guys have it. Hopefully you all enjoyed this useful information. Again, this is the Ills Forever. I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.